okay, we have got a very short workout. It's not only going to take you 15 minutes. We have got four exercises to do. It's a lower body and core, but we've also got a bit of a stretch warm up to begin with and a couple of stretches at the end. Okay, so all we're going to do to begin with is just because it's a lower body, we're going to circle those hips round one way just for about four rounds and then we're going to go around the other way for four. This is great to do first thing in the morning or whenever you can fit it into your day. Okay, then we're going to do a squat. Now the squats are to a chair. So you're going to have your feet wide and hip distance. You're going to sit down as if you're sitting on a chair, which we are doing. Breathe in and then you're going to stand up and breathe out. So you're just completely sitting down to the chair and standing up. So we're going to do a few of these because this is your first exercise. It is a sit, um, a squat. If you've got a weight, you can do without a weight the whole way through or you can add a weight at home. Either or is absolutely fine for you. Just nice, see how slowly I'm doing it. Good. So you're going to breathe in on the way down, breathing out on the way up. And when you get to the top, I want you to squeeze your butt really, really tight as you're coming up as well. And really drive the knees outwards rather than letting them come in. So breathe in, breathe out. Good. Right, now we're going to come to the floor because we need to do a little bit of a stretch of the lower body as well. So we're just going to come all the way down. Either walk out, so you're going to slowly come down. And then just let yourself come out to the floor, nice and slowly. Move my weight out of the way. Okay, from here, I just want to do a bit of mobility for my back. So I'm going to put my hand on the side of my head. Down and rotate up. Three times. Oh, I've got a cold coming. And I'm sniffing. And then we're going to do three the other side. So again, hand on the side of the head. Down and up. And again. One more time. Good, okay, then we're going to put our heels together, knees out, I'm going to set ourselves back and push through, and from there we're just going to come around to one side, have a little stretch, and then around the other side, and a little stretch. Good, and relax. And one more we're going to do, because these are the exercises you will be doing, line our back, we're going to tuck the Belly button down to our spine so there's no gap and you're just going to pull your belly button up and down as you're pushing your hips up, curling them up and down because this is your second exercise anyway. And one more, up and down, good. Then we're going to rotate all the way back round again, all the way back up and we are going to get ready to start. Okay, so this timer is for 30 seconds on, we're going to start with our squats for 30 seconds. Use a weight if you can, if not, just do it without. Okay, no music. You can put your own music on if there's your fancy in the background. Okay, let's get ready. I'm just gonna turn this around. Reach the volume. Okay, three. I'm gonna hold a weight, but you don't have to. And if we're holding a weight, we're gonna hold it like this. Down and stand up. And again. Good, okay, so just nice, easy. Down, you're sitting all the way down on this round and back up. Breathe in, breathe out. And if I'm going too quick, you just slow it down. Just go at your own pace, keeping that um, weight in the center here. Good, all right, relax, down to the floor. The few bridge ways I just showed you, feet about hip distance. You can have a weight if you want here. I'm going to tuck the pelvis under, I'm going to push upwards. So I'm going to squeeze and down. And again, squeeze up and down. Good. So as you progress through these over time, the idea is we want to add extra weight if we can. And we can also elevate the feet up onto a surface, which I will show you on the next round. But just stick with this one to begin with as you're getting used to these exercises. And then as we get stronger and start improving, we can change them around. Okay, the next one. You're gonna line your tummy, dorsal raise, working our back. Lie down, hands on the side here. We're gonna squeeze our butt cheeks really hard. And then we're gonna lift and breathe out. And then breathe in. Squeeze, breathe out. And breathe in. I'm going to blow my nose. Breathe out. 
and breathe in. And to make this harder, you can, at the same time as lifting your arms, you can lift your legs. But only if that's comfortable. If not, don't worry. And you can just keep your head in neutral position. Keep looking down. And relax. Good. Right, I'm going to blow my nose in a second. If I've got a tissue, I wouldn't get one. Okay, oblique twists, side to side, with or without your weight. Feet on the floor. Belly button pulled in, side to side. As slowly as you want, I'm going to use my weight. Okay, so you're going to go side to side. Nice and slow. Good, so just get your body used to these movements. Again, the stronger we get, we can raise our feet off the floor. I will show you that as we go through each round. So I'm going to progress each one. But you stay where you're at when you're doing this and only start advancing once you get stronger. Back to the beginning, we're going to a squat again. Okay. Well, this time I'm just going to let my butt touch the chair, but I'm not sitting down this time. I'm just going to tap onto it like that. So it's just a little tap back up. But if you prefer sitting all the way down, then you sit all the way down. It's absolutely fine. It doesn't matter which one you do. Eventually, you want to get rid of the chair. We're just getting used to this movement. On the last round, I'm going to do it without the chair to show you. But as I said, you're just going to go at your own pace. It might take you time repeating these exercises and getting used to them as you progress. Okay, back down to the floor. Now I'm going to show you this one with this here. This will be the advanced one. Which you've been used to, but Karen, do the one we did on the very first round if you want. Feet on an ele elevated surface, do a squeeze and down. So breathe out, breathe in, and you're going to feel this down the back of the legs quite a bit, and you're squeezing nice and tight. So you have a little pause at the top. So you breathe out, a little pause. So again, if the first round is comfortable for you, stick with that. I'm just showing you each advanced movement as we go through. Good. Okay. Dorsal raise. Back on the floor. Okay. So, as I said before, low down. Squeeze your butt cheeks. You lift. And down. Remember, you can add your feet if you can, but don't move if you can't. And down. And again, squeeze, lift, and down. So really working the lower back. Squeeze, and down. Good. Slow, breathe in. Breathe out as you lift, slow. Everything should be slow and controlled all the time. Okay, oblique twists again. Side to side. Get ready, with or without your weight. Ready, let's go, round and round. Now you can definitely advance this one, but I wouldn't do that for a while. But when we do, we just take our feet off the floor slightly. But at the moment, if you're comfortable here and doing it without a weight, that is perfect. You're going at your pace. Good. Slowly. Good. Nearly there. And then you've got one more round to do. Good. Okay, last round. Squats. I'm going to show you the squat without the chair, but you're going to carry on using the chair for as long as you need it. I'm just going to show you. It's called a goblet squat without the chair. As we advance, this is what we'll be doing. So you just get used to coming down and up without the chair. Squeeze. Breathe in. Breathe out. And you can really push through the floor. On the way up, so push into the floor, get yourself back up. Time and attention, nice and slow and controlled. We don't have to be doing it fast. And up, good. And again, breathe in. Perfect. Good. Okay. Glibbage raise on the floor with the weight, on the surface with the weight. 
um, without a weight or with a weight. So I'm going to do this now with a weight. This will be the most advanced one. Again, stick with the very first round if you were fine with that. Without, with them, and again, without. So really push your pelvis under. So think of tucking your pelvis under rather than just lifting as high as you can like that. You want to just control it. So squeeze the butt, tuck it under, hold, and down. And again, hold. Perfect. Good. All right. Really nice. Okay. Dorsal raise. Last time. You can advance it slightly as you get better. And I'll show you how. This time, squeeze more. I'm going to lift up. Reach. Back. Down. Squeeze. Lift. Push. Back. Down. So as you repeat this video, you can maybe see as you progress, if you can change the exercise to the more advanced one. But don't move your cut. And also, don't look up. Squeeze. Just keep your head balanced. Don't worry about doing that. Look forward. Good. And down. All right. Oblique twist. One more time. And then we're done. All right. Get yourself ready. Two, one, let's go. Side to side. Reach all the way round, all the way down. Breathe out every time you come round. Nice and controlled, nice and slow. Good. Nearly there. Ten seconds left. As I said before, feet come up. That's usually more advanced. So don't worry about that straight away. And rest. There you go. How quick was that? Lower body and core workout. All I want to do to finish is this. Because we were working the back, we want to be on hands and knees. We're going to pull our belly button to our spine. Look down. And then do that one more time. So all the way up. And down. One more time. And down and relax. Little push back to finish. And up we come. Well done. I don't know where my cold is coming from, but it's just appeared as we're doing this workout. That should be around 15 minutes. So hope you enjoyed that one. We want to keep repeating these, getting better, getting stronger as we go. Let me know how you get on. Catch you later. Bye.